You're plus 37. Is that what you have to do when you're playing this style? Uh, yeah, you can't turn the ball over. Uh, but I think in the small ball, is just making good decisions. It's all guards out there. So uh, everybody making good decisions, making decisions for each other, plays for each other, uh, you know, and getting over shots. What did you think about the energy y'all had, especially in the second half, to be able to come back and win by a good margin? Yeah, if we can, if we can start games out like that, uh, it'll make life easier for us. Um, you know, we get down and then you know, everybody kind of wants to get the energy up. I think if we come out, we have to be good teams with this lineup. We have to come out with energy. We have to be physical early, uh, not give up offensive rebounds, not give up a lot of increase, uh, and then everything else to take care of itself. Is it encouraging that you have been able to go on this winning streak with being shorthanded? Um, just kind of how it goes with John. Uh, I remember a couple years ago, we went on the two 17 game win streaks. We were missing James a few times, a lot of games. We missed Chris a lot of games. Uh, Clint a lot of games. That's just how it happens. The next man up, I step up uh, and figure out a way to win every night. I don't know, we feel like we can do that. Defensively, I know it's, it's only been four games, but the way you've been able to switch the ball, uh, miscommunication and stuff will happen. But when those breakdowns do happen, is it because of just of that or is it? It's all so 100% communication. Uh, you know, usually all everybody out there is giving you know 100% uh, of the energy. Um, the the miscommunication <laughs> is the biggest part. Uh, taking people to screens, calling the screens out, uh, getting under the screen. It, it all plays hand in hand. So uh, we gotta get better communication. It, it, that will probably come more time as you guys play this lineup. Now. Um, it should be like that regardless of what the lineup is. If we have a big in there, if it's small, everybody should be doing that anyways because we do that even when Clint's playing. So. It doesn't matter. What about the energy y'all have uh, given on the defense? You've had 25 steals in the last two games. Are you all getting, your, getting the passing lanes more? Uh, getting the passing lanes more, but I think it's a lot of times we're fronting the post, uh, you know, getting that low guy in, uh, guys just having each other's backs. That's the thing when you play small lineups, uh, you know, you can full rotate. You know, everybody can guard everybody out there. Uh, you know, we can fix it, you know, with the mismatches on the backside with the bigs. Uh, but it's just giving that all-out energy. You can get in pass lanes. Uh, you know, you can just always be a teammate. How do you feel about it? Uh, feel better getting the win. How do you feel about trying this lineup out against the size of the Lakers, particularly first place Lakers? You might see down the road. Give it a try. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Whoever we got, we're gonna go out there and play. Whoever we have a lineup, Coach Rose with. That's what we roll with, and we're going to try to win regardless. It don't really matter who it is, how they're playing. It's all about what we do. Let D House go get the bomb for a game. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Thank you.